Good morning. Okay, I have to see if this is working. If you guys are on here, can you let me know if you guys can see me, if you can hear me? Hi, Amanda. Hi, Jenna. I don't see myself moving. So, can you guys hear me? Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Jennifer. Good on your end. Okay, cool. Perfect. So I think um, what I'm going to have to do here is not be able to take questions during the presentation because it looks like it's not going to work on my end. So what I'm going to do is do the presentation and then at the very end, we'll have Q&A. So let's go ahead and share this screen. Let me make sure everything is up. Okay, cool. Okay, can you guys see this? I'm gonna to toggle back and forth. Can you guys see the screen that says e-commerce training? I'm just toggling back and forth because I can't see the chat otherwise. So that's why if you see me going between Facebook and the e-commerce training, that's why. Robin says yes, Amanda says yes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to toggle back and forth as you see right now. It's a little bit confusing to kind of integrate Zoom into the Facebook Live, but I need to do this in order for you guys to see the presentation. So if at any point you guys experience any technical difficulties, uh, let me know in the chat. I'm just going to toggle back and forth, like I said, just to make sure everything's working. So today we're going to be talking about e-commerce. Who is excited? Who's excited? I'm excited. I love talking about this stuff because it really has helped me grow my business. And I think what I'm going to do just to try to multitask here is I'm going to try to be this on my phone so I can see your comments in real time because it's really bothering me right now that I cannot see your comments in real time. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sarah. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, cool. Perfect. So this is going to be about an hour long presentation. So I hope that you guys have your notebooks, have a pen, have something to take notes with because it is, um, there's a lot of information. All right. And I want you guys to be able to use this information ASAP. Hi, Tatum. Good to see you on here. So that you can grow your business. Um, so today we're going to be talking about today's mission, which is how to start an e-commerce store without tech confusion and spending a shit load of money. Who is with me? <laughs> Who is with me on that? Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have some obstacles when it comes to learning the tech side of things. And perhaps you guys think that this is going to cost you a lot more than it actually is. I want to, you know, basically help you move through those doubts and those fears today by giving you the information that you're going to need to learn how to do this without having to spend a ton of money and without having to have a tech degree. Um, there is going to be a replay. Yes. So you guys can just hop on here on the Facebook group and rewatch it if you need to. There is a special promotion at the end for um, goods and services. So if you guys stay till the end, you guys will be able to see that. So today we're going to talk about why e-commerce. Um, are you guys, by the way, getting any feedback? Or is everything okay as far as audio goes? Yes, Lisa, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, take some notes. Um, so why e-commerce? There's six main reasons why I wanted to talk about this today. And one is to expand your reach. When I say this, I mean you right now as a mobile artist or a salon artist, you are staying local. You are marketing to people who are local to you. If you get into e-commerce or when you get into e-commerce, this reach expands. Like you can market to literally anybody in the world with e-commerce. We have um, people who buy from us at X and Sinless from the UK, from Australia, from the Bahamas, from Costa Rica, from Brazil, 
um, all over the world, right? The United States, of course, Canada, of course, everywhere in the world are able to buy our products because we are an e-commerce store and we are available worldwide. The second thing is for you to be able to make money while you sleep. Like how, would, how nice would it be for you to be able to set up a shop one time and have all of your products that you love on there and wake up to $300. That's not unheard of. And that is not something that is unlikely if you start an e-commerce store. The next thing is get more loyal clients. So I wanted to elaborate a little bit on this. And that is to say that whenever you have a client to come to you and you don't have products on hand or say, for example, um, you know, they're comparing you to somebody else that's in your area. If you say, hey, I have these products, I recommend them. You can buy them directly on my shop. That just helps solidify what a professional you are in this industry. Not only that, but you're allowing your clients to purchase directly from you at any point in time. They don't have to come to your shop rather than them going to like you or CVS or um, a drugstore or Amazon. The fourth reason is that you can make money during slow season. So there is not really like a slow season when it comes to e-commerce because you can sell seasonal items. So for example, if you're a spray tanning artist, you can of course sell like self tanner and mitts and all of those good things during the busier times, which typically is spring and summer. And then during the winter times, you can sell like merchandise or you can sell scrubs or holiday gifts. You can change what you offer based on the season. The next thing is attract more clientele. So what if somebody in your location maybe um, is Googling like, I don't know, local shop or something. Now you're able to pop up because you are a sunless shop as opposed to just a spray tanning salon. So that attracts people that way. But also, like I mentioned earlier, it expands your reach to people who are just spray tanner lovers all over the world. The next thing is positioning yourself as the expert. So again, going back to what I said earlier, um, comparison is something that a lot of us do as consumers. Your clients are comparing you to Joe Schmo down the store or down the street, right? So if they're doing a comparison and they're looking at your website and they're like, oh, wow, like this person has a shop. She has her shit together. She has all of these beautiful things at her shop. That is going to create such a better experience and a better overall look for your brand. If you guys don't know me, my name is Kelly. I've built a multiple six-figure business through e-commerce alone. So just my e-commerce business has built a multiple six-figure income. Um, this has allowed me to expand my reach internationally, create more residual income, and create more time, energy, and flexibility for my personal life, for my family, and for my other businesses that I run. Without an e-commerce store, there's no way I would be where I'm at today. So the reason why I love talking about this so much is because I love thinking expansively. And when I think about myself as a solopreneur, mobile spray tanning artist, or a salon owner on my own, the way that I saw out of being just a localized business was through the online market. And part of that was e-commerce. So I seriously, like I have goosebumps right now. I just get so excited to help you guys realize the potential that you have as a spray tanning artist. You don't have to be stuck marketing to people who are just in your area. You can really reach so many more people through e-commerce. So I want to take you through like a little visualization exercise really quick. Before I do that, I'm going to take a sip of water. And um, now that I can see the live chat here, can you guys let me know if you guys are on e-commerce right now? Like, do you have an e-commerce shop? Do you know what e-commerce is? Like, where are you at in your journey when it comes to selling product online? Hello, Megan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, Robin says not yet. So has not created an e-commerce store yet. Do you sell any type of retail, Robin? Maggie says, I don't. I need one ASAP. It's just like, why wouldn't you have an e-commerce store if you already have the client base, right? Like most of you guys are already spray tanning. You guys already have a client base. Even if it's small, it doesn't matter. 
The fact that you can expand on that immediately is incredible. Not ready, but um, ready to start or not yet, but ready to start. I don't, but very interested. I have an online store, but it's for local pickup only. Okay, Liz, why is it only for local pickup? Is there like a hiccup that you're facing? Is there something that's kind of stopping you from growing? I have um, products on my website. Okay, cool, Lindsay. Good, good, good. I only have retail in my shop. I will ship, but I don't have that integrated into my site. I have an Etsy account. Very good, Maria. Tina, I have product, but having trouble setting it up on Square. Okay, no idea yet. I have products online, but very quiet. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk a little bit about like the logistics of it, the tech aspect of it, um, how to ship stuff, um, how I do it, and really like how to market yourself as well, because obviously that's a huge piece of the puzzle. So imagine, I want you guys to imagine your business as it is right now, right? Like there are so many opportunities for you to grow. There's so much money being left on the damn table. And what I want for you guys is to be able to understand um, and be inspired to be able to pick that money up and find those areas of opportunity so you can really double, triple, quadruple your business. Literally every single year that I've owned my business with the exception of 2018, when I was going through a separation, I have grown massively. And that is because I look for these expansive opportunities, one of them being e-commerce. So I want you to think about if you were to start this store, you basically just need to start the store one time. You need to set it up, um, get your products on there. You just need to set it up this one time. I want you to imagine doing that. And I want you to imagine being able to wake up to $300 in your bank account in the morning. You wake up to a notification and it's like, Liz, you got $300 order, you know, a $300, $300 order in your bank account right now. Now, I want you to imagine not having to work so hard on the other aspects of your business because you're making the residual income that you need to in order for you to feel confident, comfortable, or excited, right? A lot of people that I've talked to at Slay the Spray are not hitting their financial goals. So I want you to imagine being able to do this in a way that is little work for you and that will allow you to, again, create momentum in other markets and in other areas that you are not tapping into at this very moment in time. I'm going to help you through this, um, create the systems and processes so it makes it super flowy, super easy. And I want you to remember that as you're doing this, you're creating a better experience for your clients because you are not selling them product that they don't need. I think that's one of the mental hurdles that we, we face as people who sell items or re retail products. You're not selling your people things that they don't need you are actually helping them create a better experience for their tanning experience because you're selling them product that's actually going to work better with their spray tan. So I want you guys to get excited about this because the possibility of you building substantial cash flow every single month through e-commerce is 100% possible but it takes some work. It takes you actually doing this and it takes you being consistent. One thing that really, um, I don't know if bother is the right word, but it kind of is. It bothers me when people try to do something new and within a week they give up because it's not working for them. I am living proof that all of the things that I've tried to do uh, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes strategy, it takes thought, it takes being authentic in who you are and with what you're doing. Because any time that I fell short of those items or those things and that vision, it was not sustainable. So I want you to have a goal of consistently, once you have your e-commerce store up, I want you to have a goal of consistently sharing this with your audience for at least three months a three month goal. Can you guys commit to that with me? Like, I want you guys to have the commitment there before you even finish this training, because if you finish this training, it's just going to be, and you don't have the commitment there. It's just going to be another training that you took that kind of went in one ear and out the other. And 
the reason why I bring this up is because it happens to me still. I will spend $15,000 on a mastermind, which I did this year. And like, I don't take things seriously. So in order for you to really um, infuse yourself in this space and be successful in this space, you need to commit to doing the work. All right. So let's talk a little bit about why you guys should get into the e-commerce um, space, because I think this might be very inspiring for a lot of you guys. In 2021, just last year, personal care retail sales in the United States alone generated nearly 54 billion, that's with a B, billion US dollars in e-commerce revenue and thereby accounted for over 11% of total retail e-commerce sales that year. Out of all the industries that there are available, 11% might not seem like a lot to you, but it is a lot. Um, the beauty industry is always growing. And with social media, it has grown even more. So this should get you guys excited because there's a lot of money to be made, aka you are leaving money on the table, which we are not going to do after today. All right. I'm hoping that there's not too much of a lag because I'm seeing it and I think there is, but I'm just going to keep on going. You guys let me know if there's anything weird on your end. So what you need to do this, to make this happen, you're going to need products that you believe in, all right? You're going to need simple systems that link to your current website. So it could be Shopify, um, maybe you use Squarespace or Wix right now, and you already have a shop that you're able to use. We're going to get into the nitty gritty of that in just a moment. You're going to need a marketing strategy that you can commit to consistently. That is going to be the key term throughout this entire program because I know that that word is so overused, but it's not <laughs> because without consistency, you will not gain the momentum that you need. And that's not just in e-commerce, that's in literally anything that you do. Okay. You can't give up after a week. You can't give up after a month. You cannot give up after two months. You have to stay consistent with this and commit yourself to whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish, all right? I also want you guys to remember that this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not something that you're going to put up and in two days, you are going to have a massive amount of sales. You could, you could if you already have a following and if you launch correctly, like if you have a pre-launch schedule where you're getting people excited, getting people knowing that you're going to launch your shop, all of these things have something to do with it. Um, but essentially, if you are doing this from scratch for the first time and say you don't have that huge of an audience, then it's going to take some time. All right. So I want you guys to be committed to your growth gear. The first thing that we have to do is look at retail products. What retail products do we want to put online? Um, take your time or take your best selling retail products and get them at wholesale pricing. So uh, with you guys who are here on live, can you guys let me know what are your best selling products right now? Kimberly says uh, retail and salon is like hemp's, X10 moves, X10 body wash, scrubs, um, drying powder. Cool. This is what I would add to e-commerce. Yes. No, Kimberly, that's not a dumb question. Yes, that is exactly what you got, what you would put on e-commerce. So I want you guys to do, um, if you guys do offer retail in your shop. I want you guys to think about what is what are the best selling products. If you guys have a ton of products, let's try to narrow that down and focus on three main products that you guys sell a lot. So we got Glow Bar Soap. Um, I love Malia. She is so sweet, by the way. Um, body lotion, body wash, tan extender, tan extender mousse, exfoliating mitts, lotions, tan drops. Um, drying powder, lotion, soap, dresses. Yes. So that's a great point, Lisa. You can also add dresses, jewelry, like anything that you feel like would go good with your brand, you can sell on your website. And I didn't even think about this, but like, if you're looking to open up just like a completely different line of e-commerce products, like that has nothing to do with beauty, that has nothing to do with the retail that you currently sell, this is also going to help you. Like you can create a whole brand new business which is exciting for me because I love like seeing people grow in different ways. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, that's something you can do as well. 
So um, what you want to do is take your best selling retail products or the products that you feel like you want to sell. It could be anything, literally anything. Um, and I want you to buy in bulk, right? So like whatever these items are, the more that you buy, the bigger discount you're going to get. So if you can afford and you have the space to um, get a wholesale of like 10 or 20 items, do it. We usually buy our items in like 80, I think is the least amount of items. And I believe that is our scrubs that we have all the way up to 5,000 um, items. And that's like our mitts and things like that. So I want you to think about what can you store in your space and what is the um, biggest amount of items that you can get? Because again, the more that you get, the more that you're going to save. Start small. So if you... Um, are just kind of getting your feet wet, or if you have a ton of product, doesn't matter. I would encourage you to try to start small with your e-commerce store. Start with your top three. And you can do more if you have a ton of retail and you know it's going to sell. That's fine. But I want you to have a goal of at least having three items in your shop. Now, I want you to look at the MSRP. So this is the suggested retail price for these items that you're selling. I'm going to show you what this looks like in just a moment. But basically, every single product that you have that you purchase through wholesale should have some sort of suggested retail price. So for you, that MSRP would be what you want to sell it for, at least. I'm sure that you can do sales and things like that. Um, but essentially you want to kind of match what that MSRP suggested price is. All right. And another thing that I want to encourage you guys to do is to do this ASAP. It is late October. We have some really, really crazy sales, the biggest sales of the entire year coming up. We have Black Friday, Cyber Monday. What's the Friday one? It, or isn't there like a Thursday one? There's like another one. There's three in that week, okay? Um, and then you also have the holiday sales. So if you guys get your e-commerce store up, imagine how much more you're going to sell now versus doing this in a slower time like January or February. To give you guys a little bit of an example of what you guys can sell and what the profit margins um, are for a 10 pack. So if you guys get body wash, which honestly, every single person, every single client that you guys serve should be leaving with a body wash. So whether this buy, they buy this from you in person or buy from your e-commerce store, this should be a product that you recommend to 100% of your clients because if they go home and use Dove or use bar soap or use another product that's going to strip off their tan, guess what? Their tan is going to last four days, five days, and then they're going to blame you that you were a shuddy spray tanning artist when in reality, it was just the products that they were using. So this is so important to remember and have this mentality, this mindset when you are selling products because you're not actually selling products, you are giving them a solution to a potential pro or problem. So um, body wash, something that they should always get, a safe body wash for their spray tan. For a 10 pack, you can profit $90. Imagine if every single one of your clients left with one of these body washes you guys would make a killing, okay? Um, for a lot of people, this actually covers, this product alone will cover their rent for their space. OK, uh, the second thing is sunless remover. This is actually our top selling product on Amazon. Um, so you would profit for um, a 10 pack, $90, the same exact thing as you would profit for this. Now, I would say for spray tanning remover or any type of like remover that you have, this is great for brides. So any bride that comes through your door should be leaving with this. If they sleep on their tan and they get, um, you know, palms that are like messed up when they are about to get married and have close up shots, uh, close up shots of their hands. That is something that you just want to avoid at all costs. And the best way to do that is through selling them some sort of remover. Uh, this is a back mitt and you would profit uh, 112 off of a 10 pack of this. X tan mousse, you would profit 268 off of a 10 pack, which this is another top selling item. And one thing I wanna encourage you guys to do, especially during the holidays and Valentine's Day and uh, during different seasons of the year, Bundle this shit up. 
This right here, bundling things up has helped increase our revenue by so much, so, so much. I didn't know that this was going to be something that like really helped us with retail. But when I had this idea to bundle it up last year during the season, holiday season, I was able to sell so many more of these products because what people did was they took that and they gave it as gifts. So this product right here for a 10 pack, if this thing would go away, that would be nice. Let me kind of move this. Here we go. You could profit 147 off of a 10 pack. Um, and essentially you can pack this yourself. So if you get like the, this body cleanser and a tan remover and say, for example, I don't know, an X tan mousse, you can package this together and create like a cute little package or bundle and um, monetize it that way. So bundling has been absolutely huge for us. If you sell all of these items you just saw right here in one month, you would profit profit $709.22. Okay. So it is not difficult to sell retail products. I think the biggest thing that I see, and even in um, our own salon is that we are not offering it enough. We are also not strategic in the way that we have it placed and displayed. So you should have testers so people can try out certain products if they want. You should have different like posters around your salon that say the benefits and the features of each of these products. I know we're not getting into e-commerce right now, but these are ideas that I want you guys to have because the more retail that you sell, whether it's in a salon or in e-commerce, the better that you're going to do overall. Okay. So just remember that anytime that your client is not leaving with the product, you are leaving money on the table and your client could potentially leave and have a less than amazing service, which is not something that we want to do ever. There really should be zero reasons that you should not be selling retail in your area or in your you know, mobile salon or more mobile business or salon. Um, you should always be selling retail and you should always have an e-commerce store because again, it just goes with what you're already doing. I want you guys to think of some goals. Um, one of the goals that we have at x Sunless is to sell 30% of our overall revenue um, in retail products. So whether that's coming from e-commerce or our in-salon uh, shop. We want to have 30% of the revenue come from retail, all right? So that is our goal. I hope that gives you a little bit of um, clarity in terms of like what type of goal you should have for your specific business. So speaking about like getting um, wholesale pricing, this is basically what it looks like. So anytime that you purchase from somebody at wholesale pricing, what it should look like is a quantity of five, 10, 15, 20 or more. It should be a larger quantity. It shouldn't be just one thing, um, a larger quantity, and you should be able to have discounted rates for you to purchase these products at these different quantities. So when you go to the xtansunless.com website and you go to the pro shop and you go to retail products, when you change this quantity from 5, 10, 15, 20, you will see that the bigger quantity that you get, the cheaper this total price is. This price right here is for five. Now, when you go to 10, it's going to be cheaper per item. When you go to 15, it's going to be even cheaper per item. When you go to 20, it's going to be even cheaper per item. At the very um, middle here, you should see the product details. It says MSRP $22. So this should be what your suggested retail price is. And this is what you should relay on to your clients. So when you're selling this product, it should be 22. Or if you're doing like a sale, that's fine. You could do like 20% off. Um, or 10% off or whatever for the holiday season. And that can adjust this price here. Obviously you still wanna make a profit no matter what. So you want to account for what you're paying here per item plus shipping. Don't forget about shipping because shipping is a huge one, okay? So you wanna account for all of that and make sure that you are still profiting no matter what your sale price is if you decide to do a sale price for your product. So now th that we figured out which retail products we're going to put online, let's think about how to get them online. Um, so for those of you guys who are live here, what products are you thinking that you want to put online? 
Um, Liz says, buy a container and put it in your yard stock up. Exactly. Tony says, so how do you upload products? Also, can you use affiliate link for like Xtan, Sunless, or Senna? Um, so I'm going to show you how to put them on and upload the products right now. I actually did a video tutorial for you. So you guys can check that out right now. Um, and then the affiliate link is something that you wouldn't want to. You could do it, I guess, for your um, clients, but typically the affiliate link, at least the way that it works for us at X Hands Unless, is typically for other spray tanning artists to buy at wholesale prices. Um, I hope that makes sense, Tony. So what we want to encourage at X Hands Unless is for you to buy directly from our website at the 5, 10, 15, 20 or more amount per, you know, per item, and then carry this at your salon or in your mobile business. Um, or at your home or whatever, and then sell it from you, sell it directly from you. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys right now. Cause that to me is like, it just makes sense. If, especially if you have a mobile or in salon or home-based business, you want to have product in hand for people to actually take with them. But you also want to have this on um, your e-commerce store. So the only way you could do that is by directly buying from us at wholesale pricing. Um, in which case you don't want to use your affiliate link because it wouldn't, it wouldn't really work because they would be buying directly from our website as opposed to directly from your e-commerce site for you. Do you have a back exfoliating brand uh, or band? Yes, I do, Liz. It's on our website. It's brand new, actually. We just uh, launched it. Tanning products, jewelry, clothes. Perfect. Good. Okay. So if you don't have a website already that supports e-commerce, so if you are using like WordPress, I used to use WordPress and the e-commerce shop that I used was a pain in the freaking ass. I hated it more than anything. It was absolutely terrible, like not user-friendly at all. So that's why we went to Shopify. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use Shopify and how to easily do that because Shopify is actually a platform that is specifically for e-commerce versus something like Wix or Squarespace or WordPress. They're not e-commerce shops. They are website builders. So it sometimes makes it a little bit difficult to integrate um, a shop with somebody who, or a platform that isn't very familiar with how to make it seamless, easy, and user-friendly. So if you don't have a website that already supports e-commerce, I'm going to show you right now how to shop, how to use Shopify, how to link it to your current website. So you don't have to get rid of your current website at all. You can have your current website and you can link it to Shopify where your e-commerce store will live. Okay. Um, or if you're like, you know what? I freaking hate my website anyway. I want to get rid of my website. You can actually have a website and your shop all on Shopify, which would make it even easier. So depending on what your system is like right now, you have different options. You are not stuck. You're not a tree. You can move. You can do different things. So um, if you need help with this, you can email me and I can give you the best suggestion. But essentially, you have a couple options. One, to host your shop on your current website as it is right now. So whether you have Wix, Shopify, or uh, Squarespace, something else, you can do this on your current website, but it may not be as user-friendly. Option two, you can keep your website that you have right now and then create a Shopify website and link the two together so they're talking to each other and people can easily go to your shop from your current website. Very easy to do, by the way. Last thing is that you just ditch your website and you get everything done on Shopify. Shopify has... Um, the ability to create a website and you can have your booking on there and everything like that and your shop. So it just depends on what you need and what your current situation is. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to put a product on your Shopify shop. All right. So let's go ahead and I hope the audio is going to work. In account, you just go to products, go to add product. Let me stop this really quick because it is going in double speed. Let's do 2.5. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Shopify. Once you create an account, you just go to products, go to add product, and this will be your very first product. So this can be X Pan body wash, for example. You can go ahead and put the description in. I would highly recommend wherever you get your um, product from to check out the description 
in their website. So if you go to all retail and we switch on over to the body cleanser that we have, which is one of our top selling products for retail, you can see that we have a short description of what this product entails. I do not recommend copying and pasting this because it does hurt the algorithm for both you and the original poster because of plagiarism and things like that. So I would just get this, read it, and create your own based off of this. So you'll want um, not the MSRP um, because that will be your price to your clients, but essentially you just want what the product does, the features and benefits, and how to use it. You also want to have um, the product size, which we don't have on here. So that is something we need to update. But when you are creating your product, you can just put that information, the description here. So description of product. In most cases, your um, distributor, whoever you purchase the product from, will be okay with you using their graphics, which makes it so easy for you just to uh, click on it and save the image. So if you save the image, we'll just save it as body wash. Um, that's not going to work because it's the, it's not in the right format. So what I would do personally is either um, email the distributor or create your own graphic. You can just do this by taking a photo of it, or you can even just like screenshot this. So just for training purposes, I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to add to file. I'm going to go to recent. There it is. We're going to add that to the file. And then right here is going to be your pricing. So this is going to be for your audience. So this would be what the MSRP is, which is right here. And most cases, you're going to see an MSRP um, on the website that you purchased the product from. If you wanted to do some sort of sell or something like that, you can actually put the sell price here. So say, for example, if you're doing a holiday sale, you can put $17 and then the original price uh, 22 here. And what this will do is we'll notify your audience um, as to what the sell is and how much the value of this product is. If you want to charge tax, you can do that, which I do recommend. And then your cost per product. So whatever your cost is, say, for example, if you go over here and you switch these quantities, the more that you buy, the bigger discount you're going to get. So say, for example, you bought 10, your cost is going to be $13. So you can put that right over here. You'll be able to see the margin, your profits. Um, if you wanted to get more intricate with this, you can add inventory SKUs, things like this. Um, but it's not really that necessary uh, if you are just starting off. So I would just try to keep things as simple as possible. I would definitely track the, uh, the quantity. So say, for example, you purchase that 10 pack then you would have 10 available. So you would put 10 right here. And that way, when um, the stock is low, you will get notified that the stock is low so you can replenish your product in time. You can also continue selling out when, um, when the product is sold out. However, I don't recommend doing this just because you don't want to sell something that you don't have in stock. This is a physical product. So you would put the weight guideline here. In this case, um, I believe those are eight ounces. I don't recall off the top of my head, but say for example, it is eight ounces. You would just put that in there. Now, customs information, you're most likely not gonna sell your product internationally yet. So what I would do is just kind of leave this alone. Um, if you have different variations of the products, so say for example, you have mitts that you're selling in different colors, you can add those options here. Um, all of this looks good here. This, the categories and things of this nature would be something that you would do later on down the line if you decide to have shirts or hats or like merchandise first, retail products, things like that. Um, and then you can categorize them in certain different categories. So that way um, it's easier for you to kind of see where everything is pulling from. So this is more for like inventory and then also just to kind of have more structure within your e-commerce store when you are, um, say for example, creating a new collection of items, everything can be kind of bulked and grouped in that one section. However, when you're just starting off, keep it simple. You don't have to do all of this. Um, I usually keep all of these uh, good, you know, uh, clicked on. And then for the product, you can either draft it if you're not finished with it, or you can activate it right then and save. Now your product is live. It is available for people to purchase and all of that good stuff. Okay. That was very quick. <laughs> I will give you guys the PDFs. So you guys can rewatch that because I know that that was very quick, but I hope that gives you some insight as to how easy this is. Um, like I said, it's like a one and done thing. So once you create your product and you put it online, you really don't have to adjust unless you are changing something within that product, whether it's the pricing or maybe deleting it, or I don't know, just editing the description, something like that.
All right, are you guys still with me? Let me see. Question, does Grant also link the two? Yes, so I'm so glad that you mentioned that, Lisa, because I forgot to mention that. So I talked to Grant before I actually created this because I know a lot of you guys work with Grant and Happy Tans. And what he does right now is he links the Shopify account. So what he does is what exactly I'm gonna show you right now in this video right here. Um, and you can do this even if you don't work with Grant. So whether you have like a Wix, a Squarespace or whatever, Eventually, Grant is going to be launching his own shop, but that's not going to be done for a while. So if you guys are waiting on that, don't wait. Just do a Shopify account or something similar to that. Get your shop up now because you're going to be wasting time, money, and energy by not doing this now. And then once um, Grant has his own shop that he can embed within whatever system he uses for Happy Tans and your guys' website, then you guys can transfer everything over. Um, I would just say do it sooner than later. Don't wait around for that. So linking your website. If you have another website, whether it's Happy Tans, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, you can easily link your Shopify account and your Shopify shop with your current website. And this is how you're going to do that. If you're wondering why the reason is that I'm using Shopify um, as this example is that Shopify is incredibly easy. I actually used to work, use WordPress and that was so difficult for me to navigate. It was not user-friendly at all. So if you're encountering that problem within your own systems, whether you have Wix or Squarespace or whatever, I highly recommend using something like Shopify because it's actually created for an e-commerce business, which makes it incredibly easy to use. Now, once you're done creating your um, product and you are ready to launch your products, you can go ahead and link this directly to your website. So if you go to the main page, click on settings all the way at the bottom. And right here, this is going to be the URL that you must, you would have created when you first started your Shopify account. Uh, Shopify will give you the ability to create a URL, whatever it is that you want. You don't have to have something like xtansunless.com or yourbusiness.com. It can be you know, shopify.whatever.com. Uh, it doesn't matter what this URL is if you're linking it to your current web page because really nobody's going to see it. So if you want to direct people to your website and you want them to have the ability to access your Shopify store, then all you would have to do is copy and paste whatever link is right here to your current website. So as an example, xtansalon.com is our salon website. I personally would have the shop in our menu and I'd also have like buttons throughout the pages, retail shop, for example. Um, so that way people can easily access this. When you are creating your menu options, you would just copy and paste the link provided here on Shopify. So no matter if you have a WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, doesn't matter, you can create this menu and link it to your Shopify account, which is so easy. Again, when you're doing the retail shop buttons or any other buttons throughout your website, you would uh, just simply copy and paste whatever that URL is over here to be able to access that shop. So when you click on shop, for example, here, you're going to see all of our retail products. And because this is not at wholesale pricing, this is actually just for our clients or people who want to purchase products from us. So these are just regular clients who love spray tanning or who want scrubs or who want whatever. Um, they would have the option to purchase it here. Now, this is Shopify. So I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. You can see how clean and easy it is to navigate. When they want to purchase, they would click on whatever item they want to purchase, and you can go ahead and they can add to cart, they can buy with the different variations of um, payment systems that you may offer. So we have uh, Google Pay, we have, I believe, PayPal, all kinds of stuff here, or they can just pay with their regular credit card. So easy. Once they purchase the, the uh, product, you will get a notification via email and it'll say who it's for. It will give them all of the information. It will give you all of the information as far as the address, uh, what they ordered, all of that good stuff. Okay, cool. So um, if you guys have any questions about that, just let me know, but it is fairly simple to do. You don't have to have like a tech degree to be able to figure that one out. So now you got your first order. All right. So we put our website or stuff on our website, our retail products. We're excited. We got it linked to our website or we're just using Shopify, um, or we're just using our internal system, whatever it is that you're using. So everything is on it's live. It's all good. Now you have your first order. So let's look at that and see what that looks like. All right, so you got to order in and you're kind of curious as to what to do next. <laughs> All right, so this is a test order that I created for myself and 
they, they purchased all of these items here. Now I'm ready to go ahead and create my shipping label. And again, what I really love about Shopify is that it is so seamless. You don't have to get anything else in order to do this. It's so easy. Once you get your email and it says, you know, so-and-so purchase something, you would go to your Shopify account, go to orders, and then you would create a shipping label. From here, the shipping label will um, give you some options. So the easiest way that I've been able to do this is basically um, going over here and creating packages for those items that we sell a ton of. So for example, if somebody continues to purchase just maybe one tanning mousse, um, and I find that that is something that they're consistently doing, you can just add a package and you can name it mousse. You can create an envelope, like if you wanted to send it in an envelope or if you wanted to send it in a box or a soft package, it's up to you. You would um, get that particular envelope or box and you would put the link and the width of that particular box or envelope in here. Um, and then the weight of the actual envelope or box by itself without any product, you would put that here as well. Although that is optional, I don't find that it makes such a difference. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And then I would save this package for the future. So say for example, if we did like an eight by five by 11, which is typical for what we um, send our products like mousse in, it would be a soft package. Um, sorry, give me one second. Width would be like 0.5. We can add this package on here. And the first thing that you'll see is the mousse because we just created it, but you can go through this and see like how many packages we actually have. Um, so once you create your package, it's going to total the entire weight of those products within that package. So this automatically gets done for you, which is really, really cool and exciting because you don't have to sit there and weigh every single product every single time, or you don't have to weigh the product a package that you're sending if they have multiple variations of products in there. It's all done for you. Uh, going down, you can see that there's different types of options that you have to send. I always go with the least expensive option that allows it to be there within three days. So as you can see, this is going to be the least expensive option, and it says two business days. So if you go here, this is how much you're going to pay for the shipping, which is something that you do want to also charge the client for. Um, this is something you can do on the back end of Shopify. When you go into your settings, it's going to allow you to basically give all of the weights um, of each product. And then you can kind of see how much everything is going to be. So that way you can make sure that you're not under pricing or under charging, I should say, for the shipping and that you're not overcharging for the shipping either. Now that you have all of this, you're going to buy the shipping label. And once you purchase the shipping label, it is going to populate the shipping label for you. This is great because again, it makes it super, super simple for you to just print this out on a regular printer if you'd like, or you can get um, another printer that is specific for labels that has like a little sticky um, type of label on there where you can peel this off and place it directly onto the package. But if you don't want to invest in that particular product yet, don't worry, just print this out on your regular printer and tape it on nice and securely onto the package. Again, I know that was fast, but um, I will give you guys the links here so you guys can go ahead and rewatch this when you are creating your account or your product um, e-commerce store. This is the, once that's all done, um, once they have the order completed, and then you do the, uh, what I just showed you right now, you created the label, they're going to get an email. You guys may have seen this email if you guys have purchased directly through x Sunless, and it says your order is on the way. So this is for your clients once they order from you. It'll give them the USPS tracking so you don't have to do this manually. They can see their order, they can visit the store, and then it'll show what's inside that shipment. Then on your end, as the person who has the e-commerce store, you're going to get a notification. So I do a happy dance every single time I get a, a notification like this because it says X10 Sunless Order. So this is the order that somebody has placed and it'll tell you what they ordered right here. So you got your first order and you did it. Congratulations. <laughs> now what? Um, once your order is completed or fulfilled in the system, your client will receive that tracking, and now it's time for you to package that order. We package our orders Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is our cutoff time. Because we have a consistent flow of clientele, we actually have UPS and USPS 
come to our shop and they pick up the packages and they go. So we get our items like our packaging um, from Uline, U-L-I-N-E, or we get it from Alibaba, or we get it from um, Amazon if it's just like envelopes or something like that. So unless you're going to buy in bulk, like thousands and thousands of boxes or um, thousands and thousands of envelopes, I would start at Amazon or Uline. If you don't want, if you don't have a consistent flow and you don't want USPS to come to your shop every day to pick up these items or UPS to come to your shop every day to pick up the items, then you can simply just start off with packaging the items yourself, slapping the label on and going physically to UPS or USPS to do this. This is what I did in the very beginning because I was brand new at e-commerce. I wasn't getting um, orders every single day. So what I would do is I would literally ride my like little, um, oh, thank you so much, electric scooter to UPS or USPS and drop off the items there. Or you can obviously just like drive there. So it makes it very, very easy. Once you have the label on there, you don't have to wait in long lines. You just go and you drop them off in the drop off section of UPS or USPS. You do not have to wait in line. All right. Are you guys following me? Is this, um, somewhat easy. Kelly, can we get this video too? Yes, you're going to be able to get all of this stuff. Okay, good. Thank you, Lisa. I was like, this is actually a really good training. I'm like showing you guys how to do stuff, which is great. I think if I had done this at Slay the Spray, it wouldn't have been as impactful because I would have been worried that the videos wouldn't have worked during that time. So I chose to do this here. Um, all right. So selling your products. Linking, so this is how a couple of ideas of what you guys can do to start selling the products that you guys have on your e-commerce store, no matter how you set this up. Linking to your website and adding buttons throughout the site. This is so important, you guys, because I think that a lot of people just kind of like put it on their menu option where it just says shop. Um, but they forget that like throughout their website, they it can say like retail shop, you know, buy from our retail shop, buy from our retail shop consistently throughout your website. So that way people are reminded like, oh, shoot, they have retail that I can purchase here. You can also promote on newsletters, text message marketing. You can say now like, hey, I'm launching my e-commerce store in a month. You guys like sign up for our newsletter, get notified, be the first to know, yada, yada, yada. In your um, newsletters, you can do a product feature per month. So like every month you can feature a product and talk about the features and the benefits of that product. You can also take like an unboxing video um, and feature it on your Instagram stories, your lives, your reels. Get on lives, you guys, do some videos. Like people like to be visual, like they're visual learners. So talking about how you would apply the mousse, for example, or how you would use that back mitt. Everybody loves this damn back mitt because it's the back mitt is used for self-tanning and it has the mitts that you can use for the front side, but also that back piece where you can just kind of like use it as a towel and be able to um, apply the tanning solution or not solution, but like the lotion, the gels, the mousse on the back as well. Um, creating a highlight called shop on your Instagram. If you don't have this on there, get it on there. If you already have an e-commerce shop, if you are planning on having an e-commerce shop, do this now. So that way you guys can get people talking about your shop. Tell your clients that you have a shop. So when people come to you and they're like, no, I'm actually okay right now. I don't need any retail products. All right, well, make sure that when you do, when you run out of that body wash or when you run out of the scrub, you can order it directly on our website. You can create like a QR code. Um, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. And that would allow them to easily access your site from you know, anywhere basically. So if you have that on your Instagram or if you have it placed um, throughout your shop, people can just get their phone, scan the QR code and it would take them directly to the retail shop. You can do Facebook groups, YouTube videos, affiliate marketing, like people love free shit. So if you have a local girl that would be willing to do an unboxing video for you, that's great. Um, and the magic key to all of this is first off, knowing that you don't have to do all of this stuff that I'm telling you right now, like as far as promoting, but really figuring out what is working for you and what is actually producing results. So engagement or sales 
and staying consistent within those things that are actually working. You do not have to be good at everything. You don't have to be on TikTok. You don't have to be on YouTube. You don't have to be on Instagram and Facebook. You don't have to be on all the platforms. What you do have to do is figure out what it is that you want to be on or what is actually working and consistently promote on those platforms, all right? So let's just kind of recap the keys to success when it comes to this e-commerce shop. One, finding the right products that your clients will love and continue to buy. Two, putting your website uh, or putting your products on your website. Here's another tip is to create a cute display at your shop or even when you're doing mobile and create like a cute little display of your products. When I was doing mobile spray tans, like I always had retail from day one. And what I would do is I'd have this cute little like gold box that I would put the three products that I was selling on. So I think it was like a scrub, a tannic center and a body wash. So when people looked at that, they were like, oh, what is that? You know, and then the conversation would start. Or as I'm spray tanning them, I would say, hey, do you have a body wash that's meant for spray tanning. That is just such a great way to open up the conversation without having to feel like you're selling. So as you're spray tanning, come up with these conversations like, hey, do you have a body wash that is sunless safe or safe for spray tanning? That word safe is going to like get into their minds and they're going to be like, wait, what do I have? Maybe they have something that's going to strip off the tan. We don't want that. So we want them to have this body wash. Key number three is consistently talking about this on your platforms. So even if you leave here today and you're like, you know what, I'm not really into doing an e-commerce shop, but I do want to sell more retail. You have to be consistent with telling people that you have these retail products because People don't know what you don't tell them. They don't know that you have memberships. They don't know you have packages. They don't know that you have retail products. People are so damn busy that, yes, you may have it a million times on your website about all of these retail products that you may have, but at the end of the day, they're not going to remember. Their minds are too filled with what's going on in their world. So we have to be there to remind them all the time, even if your client comes to you every week, like, hey, girl, do you have a sunless safe body wash? Or do you have a mitt to help you take off the tan when you come back next week or whatever the case may be, okay? Another tip when you are talking about these products, whether it's in person or online, you wanna talk about the features and more importantly, you wanna talk about the benefits of those features for them. So like, for example, a benefit would be the body wash is meant and designed and created for spray tanning. So it's not going to strip off the tan as quickly, right? So that's something that you want to um, kind of hone in on and also create some sort of call to action. So if you ever see the um, letters CTA, what this means is a call to action. And this is typically talked about in your marketing efforts. So a call to action would be like you featuring a product on your Instagram account, you know, having a cute little photo and underneath having all the verbiage. And at the end, how do they buy from you? A call to action would be guiding them to be able to purchase. So it would be something like if you want this X tan mousse or if you want this body wash, um, go to my shop at xtansunless.com. That's a CTA. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So don't try to do all the things. Focus on the things, the products that are working, the products that are selling, the marketing that's working, and double down on that. I want you guys to know that if I can create a multiple six-figure business through e-commerce alone, you guys can do it too, okay? There's nothing special that I do or that I've done. I literally am such like an open book. I love transparency. I give you guys all of the information that I have to be able to create this. There's no secret sauce other than what I've already taught you today. Now that you guys know, you don't need a tech degree to start your shop. You can make money while you sleep. You already have the clientele and this will allow you to also expand into other markets. Do you guys think that you guys can do this? Is it possible for you to create your own shop, your own e-commerce shop? Lisa, is it possible for you? Maria, is it possible for you? Isabella, is it possible for you? Lena, is it possible? Megan, Lisa, <laughs> other Lisa, Tony. I know it's possible for you guys. It just takes a little bit of work. <laughs> Thanks, Cheyenne. 
So here's your gift to start. I wanted to give you guys some um, tangible, actionable like guides to be able to start now because the longer that you wait on this, and this goes with anything that you guys are trying to do, the longer that you wait, the more that you're going to be in your head. The longer that you wait, the more you're going to get busier. The longer that you wait, the less likely you are to start this e-commerce store. So if you guys are committed, I see you, Tatum. I see you, Kelly. Um, the more that you guys are committed to doing this, do it now because it's going to be better for you, okay? So step one is to get your products. If you guys don't have products right now, if you guys um, maybe want to introduce some new fresh products onto your retail line, I want you guys to go to xtansunlist.com and anything that you guys see on there, any of our retail products, whether it's tan remover, mitts, exfoliating mitts, scrubs, body wash, we literally have so many products that I haven't even like shared with you guys yet because I've been so damn busy doing Slay the Spray and all these other things. But we have almost anything and everything that you could possibly need to retail to your, your girls, okay? Go to xhandsonlist.com, add whatever you guys want on there, whether it's a pack of 5, 10, 15, 20, body wash, mitts, whatever, and add the discount code when you guys check out ECOM. So E-C-O-M-M. -M, and this is going to save you guys um, and give you guys free shipping. Okay. So this means that not only do you guys get the discounts on the wholesale items, but you're also getting free shipping, which is huge. I don't normally offer this by the way. So take a photo of this and get this done before the 30th of October to take advantage of the free shipping deal. The next thing is to get on Shopify. If you guys don't have a system or a platform that you guys can work off right at this moment in time, get on Shopify. Brayden's hearing me right now, so he's yelling my name. Um, get on Shopify. If you go to getyourshopify.com, there is either a free trial to start or a discounted trial to start. I don't know which one it's going to be. It is constantly changing. Get on Shopify, try the free or discounted trial. I think the discounted trial is like a dollar or something like that. Um, and try it out. See if it's right for you. Trust me when I say that this is the most user-friendly platform for e-commerce that I have ever, ever, ever used. I've used Wix before. I've used um, Words, WordPress before. And I believe it was WooCommerce that was integrated into that and Shopify. And out of all of these three, Shopify, hands down, 1000% is what I would do over and over and over again. Now get ahead of the holiday sales. So you want to tell the world that you guys have this Shopify account or your shop, your e-commerce shop launching soon. Start planting the seed. Let people know that you guys are doing this before the holidays. Have a launch date in mind. So say, for example, I believe that you guys can do this in one day. You guys can literally set up your shop, take photos, do the description, set everything up in one day. I, I promise you this. If you dedicate a day, you can get it done. Um, so maybe have a goal that by the 1st of November, you're going to launch your e-commerce shop. Tell the world now. Don't wait. Do not wait for anything for the perfect time. It's never going to be the perfect time. Don't wait. Start telling people now that by November 1st, you're going to be launching your shop that they can buy anywhere from the U.S., and even if you don't have all the answers, because I know that you've never done this before, possibly. So if you don't have all the answers, you are going to figure it out as you go. And if there is a moment in time where you're like, you know, I don't know how to do this or I'm, I'm really struggling. I have one hour sessions that you guys can purchase like for mentoring sessions that we can go over everything. I can go in there. I can help you guys, whatever, but also Shopify and Wix and Squarespace. Um, they all have customer service teams that will be willing to help you as well. And Shopify has a really, really strong customer service team that will be able to help you. Okay. So get ahead of the holiday sales. This is your time to shine, create content, create bundles, um, that are gift packs, create cute retail displays at your shop, use testers, get testimonials from clients who have used your retail products before yell it, tell it, share it, show it close mouths. Don't get fed. You guys. 
Um, so if you guys don't share this with anybody, they're not going to know that you have a shop. And if you guys have any type of following on your personal Instagram accounts, on your Facebook, on your business accounts, there are people that aren't in your local area that are following you right now that are wanting to buy you, buy from you and buy, um, your products and support your business, but they can't because they can't physically come to your shop. So by doing this, you're allowing them to be able to support your small business, all right? If you don't proactively offer this, the answer is always going to be no. So think of offering your products as a way to create a better experience for, for your client. Find solutions, aka products, to solve potential problems. You are helping your clients. You are not selling your clients, okay? If you're selling a product that you don't believe in, ditch that shit. Ditch that product. You're not being authentic to yourself. You're not being authentic to your clients. You must love everything that you're offering to your clients, whether it's services or products, in order for you to confidently share this over and over again, okay? If you guys have any questions, you guys know where to reach me. You guys can reach me here on um, info at spraytanklass.com. I am kind of taking a little bit of a step back from social media um, because I'm tired <laughs> and I really want to focus on the back end of my business and really putting forth a strong marketing um, plan for this upcoming year. So I won't be able to answer many questions there, but I guarantee if you call or not call me, <laughs> if you email me at info at spraytanklass.com, I will get it and I will reply. You are so welcome. I really hope that this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them right now. I'll be on for just a couple more minutes. Um, I hear a challenge, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love it. Uh, Jenna says, I haven't launched my business yet or e-commerce. I will be way further down the line. All our spray tanning artists selling their own line of product or different companies. So Jenna, most people buy from a company because private labels, they're not saving you any money typically for doing that. And it's a little bit more of a headache. So because you have to create your own labels, you have to make sure that the labels say exactly what needs to be said per by the law, um, things like this. So if you're starting out, highly recommend not private labeling. And I highly recommend just buying from a wholesale brand. And that's why we exist. That's why big brands exist. Um, and they wholesale to people because it is easier. We've already like taken the products that work. We've perfected it. Like it's easier to do it that way. But if you're in a situation where you are very adamant about keeping everything branded to your specific brand, then I would look at private labeling options. Um, typically, that's later down the line for most businesses. So it is something that you can do, but it's usually later down the line. So I'm glad that you asked. That was a really good question. If they are Obsidian clients, what mousse is best? Um, X-Tan mousse works beautifully with literally all of our solutions. Um, I actually launched X-Tan mousse last year. And even with Bronze, I wanted to make sure that it would work with all of our products. So all of our products on our xtansunless.com website, they all work together and with our solutions. So highly recommend that. I love X-Tan mousse. I'm obsessed. People who use x Moose are loyal as fuck because it is. it was customized um, by actually Amy and her chemist. And Amy, if you guys don't know, is a previous owner of x um, Sunless, and she is an RN. And she has taken all of the products that she has created very, very seriously because she's an RN and she wants like the best products on the market um, in terms of quality and of course results. So I highly recommend that. Ladies Fashion Go is the best to get spray tan dresses. Yes, I hope that helps someone in here. I have not checked them out, so that's good. Good to know. Thank you so much. What if you don't have space to carry retail? I'll be honest with you, um, Robin. Well, first off, Robin, are you a mobile artist or do you have a salon or an in-home business? I will be honest with you. Um, I still have a ton of products in my house and in my uh, like warehouse or my salon because we can't fit everything in one spot. 
we have literally, we've ordered 5,000 mitts, 5,000 multiple different types of mitts. So we have a ton of product here. I think that if you can store your products, if you have a salon one, you should always have retail products in your salon. So whether that's creating shelving for those products, um, and then you don't have to order so many, right? Like five, 10 at a time is perfect. And you can have this stored in um, either your house, you can have it stored in your salon. But if you are a mobile artist, I just had it stored in my house in like a closet. So when I was creating or when I had like retail products on hand as a mobile only artist, I didn't have a salon. I didn't have anything else. This was back in 2014. I would carry three different products with me. And I would have like two of those products with me at a time in my mobile bag. And then the rest of the products would be at my house. So I, I don't, it would be hard for me to believe that you don't have any space to carry a line. Um, but for some businesses, they do offer drop shipping options, which what that means is you can go to xtansunlist.com, for example, and then you can buy one item at a time. And instead of having to label and ship everything yourself, we would do that for you. We don't offer drop shipping yet because I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of it, but that would cut out the middleman. However, you wouldn't profit as much because we would be taking care of those shipping um like shipping directly to your client for you, if that makes sense. For someone who just started and is already in a pinch, what three products would you suggest? Um, the three products you showed or others. So I would say the safe answer to that would be a body, like a body wash that is safe for sunless tanning. That is a great product that I think every single of your clients, every single client should have. Um, anyone that's spray tanning should have something that is safe to use as a body wash. So that would be my number one. My number two would be the X tan mousse. The X tan mousse is one of our top selling items because you can use this as a tan extender. So if somebody is getting tans from you, say like every two weeks or so, and they're going on vacation, they can actually use this on top of their tan once it starts to fade to extend out the life of their tan. You can also use it as a standalone product. So say, for example, your client is leaving for like a month and they won't have access to you, but they still want to be tanned. They can use this as a standalone product. Um, with that, you'd want to sell a mitt because a lot of people don't have mitts, like the self-tanning mitt. So that could be your third item. Um, but if you wanted another option for a third item, I would say something that would allow them to exfoliate. So it'd be either the scrub, X-Tan scrub, or it would be the X-Tan exfoliating mitt. Those would be the three things slash four things that I would have. Um, I am mobile and in my home, but we may mo be moving into a fifth wheel in the future. Yeah, I mean, Robin, my thing would be just start off small really just start off really small, like maybe even put one item on your e-commerce store, or maybe even just have like two items that you take with you to your mobile um, appointments. And maybe you put the e-commerce shop on hold, which is not something I would recommend, but if you're really at, in this like transitional space where you just don't wanna have that much product, then that's something I would do. Can you link your Shopify to Vagaro website? Who that is. Oh, that's a good question, Tony. I don't think so. Um, is there a way on Vagaro that you can? Okay, maybe you can. Is there a way on Vagaro, Tony, that you can put like a section where you can put your website? I think there, there might be. So if you go on the back end of Vagaro, it should have like your settings where you put your name, your business name, and then it should have an option where it maybe links your Instagram accounts or maybe your website. And if that's the case, I would put the shop link on your website, like area on the back end of Vagaro, if that makes sense. So I, I think that you can actually. So I take that back. I think that you should be able to. Check your settings, check to see if there's a website um, portion where you can put your website on. And then instead of linking, you know, another website, just put your Shopify account on there, your Shopify website. All right. 
You love X Hand Moose, Chrissy. I love you. <laughs> Congrats on your um, book launch, too. Yay. Yes. I love it. Lisa, you're getting creative. She says, um, I ordered my drops, Kelly. I'm excited to play around with them. I And now I have the tan mousse. Good. Yeah, the tan mousse is great. People seriously love this shit. So if you guys don't have any more questions, I am going to hop off of here. This was, I think, one of the most um, intricate uh, free uh, trainings that I've done. So I hope that you guys found it valuable and I will be letting you guys rewatch this, um, as much as you want in this group, since it's hosted in there and here. And then if you want the specific PDF, I can send that over to you. And actually, no, I lied. What I will do to make my life easier is I'm going to put this on the online portal. So all of you guys do have access to the online portal, which has all of the Slay the Spray recordings. It has all of the bonus material now up. And this is the final piece of bonus material that we are going to upload on there now that it's all completed. So I love you guys a long time. I hope that this has been helpful and I can't wait to see what you guys do with your e-commerce store. If you guys have any hiccups, need anything from me, questions, whatever, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. Thank you guys.